Coach, right off the bat, Jaden Knott goes for 274 yards last week. He does not go for that this week. Just talk about the run defense and what you guys did to, to really limit him to you know not very many explosive plays. Well, I think we know we had to corral him coming in. He's a dang good player, and he's going to be good for a really long time. He's just a true freshman. But I think it plays in our strengths, right? And I think that was something that we wanted to defend last week, that we're a good defense, that we're a good run-stopping defense. And that was the mentality all week. We knew it was going to be tough against a physical line and a really good tailback. And he did plenty of making us miss. You know, I think he earned every yard he got. And uh, that, was the, that was the goal coming in. And I thought we were really sound in the run game today. 21 explosive plays last week, eight this week. Um, what was kind of the mentality coming in to avoid those and, and make sure that if they were going to beat you, if they were going to get their yards, they weren't going to come on the 40, 50-yard bombs? Well, I think it was just controlling the vertical pass game. You know, I know they, they got a couple on third down and they got us on a double move, I think, uh, to start the fourth quarter. But, you know, credit, you know, to our coaching staff, uh, credit to the guys that, that came back to work this week. And it was an emphasis. And we threw more deep passes on them this week probably than we ever have. So if you can make Cal go the long, hard way, we felt like we had a shot. And I think that's what our guys did. And they executed really well. Just assess the ups and downs kind of cam today. You know, obviously the, the two picks maybe not so good, but that, that last throw to Renard, that touchdown throw was, I mean, as perfect as you can get. Well, I think you just saw glimpses too, and I think there's a learning process. And, and I, I'm proud of him because he had to gut some things out, right? When things go bad and, and maybe they look perceptually bad, you don't make good decisions, and he knows that. Uh, he's a smart enough guy to understand that. So he'll be back ready to learn, but to gut through it and come back and make some big-time throws – uh, I thought was really important. I think it sees his resolve a little bit coming through because we need his leadership. We need his toughness, right? But we got to do a better job as a team. You know, our turnover margin to be four and one and be one of probably last in the league in turnover margin, it's going to be hard to continue that success. So uh, those are good learns. And, uh, you know, this is the prettiest, ugly, gutty win we knew we had to have. We knew we had to have it that way. Okay, so any way possible, that's why that celebration in that locker room is really special right now. When the game gets close, they were about 14-9 early in the fourth. And just how crucial was that next drive? And what do you think it kind of proved about, you know, a, the response of your team and kind of being able to put that together? We learned a lot. You know, I think we learned a lot about ourselves going through in a little, little adversity. And I think it was a positive thing, right? So to come back the next week and to go out there and score, to go out there and close the game, to go out there and finish, um, just shows the type of team that I think we, we can be. You know, we're not there. We haven't played a perfect game yet, and it's probably not out there. But there's a lot left for this team, and it's very hungry, and they're very focused. And, you know, I just – winning in the Pac-12 is hard. You know, to defend our turf on homecoming, you know, was special, and that was the goal this week. And to come out 1-0, and that was uh, – that's exactly where we wanted to be. Uh, I think it was nine punts and four sacks that you guys had. Or forced nine punts and had four sacks. So, I guess, what did you see in the defensive bounce back? What were you able to – to men that, that wasn't there last year. We got them behind the chains, right? And I thought we were on our heels uh, the week before. Now we were the aggressor. Now it was second and longer. Now we could pin our ears back, you know? So it starts with stopping the run. And we did that efficiently today. And it allowed us to get in good D&Ds. And I thought our four down rush, like we talked about, had to hit home and to get them behind the chains. And I give their quarterback a lot of credit. He stood in there and took a lot of shots and gutted through it. But uh, that's the type of pressure we need to affect the quarterback. How much emphasis was you talked about a little bit to stretch the field this week and and how did you like their ability to do so and hit some of those forty yarders? And about us on offense? Yeah. You know, like I said, I, I think we got off to a little bit of a slow start protection-wise, and I think that got Cam a little jumpy. You know, but then as we settled in, protection changed, and I thought we did a good job of keeping them upright and giving them some deeper pockets and then have the ability to take the ball down the field. And, you know, I think you saw there, like, Renard, you know, we want to get him the ball, right? So getting him outside, trying to find another threat, taking it up top to him, and he is a playmaker. And, you know, that's what good uh, teams do is get the ball to other playmakers, and I think that was the emphasis this week. Coach, you said uh, on Monday you wanted to keep them behind the chains, and you're just talking about how the defense did that. Just how proud are you of your guys to do that today? I'm proud of the team and how it responded. You know, I thought there, you know, with some outside noise of what would the Cougs do, how are they going to respond, epic failures, big words. Okay, we knew what we needed to do. Okay, and that's what good teams do. They respond, right? And I thought our guys were resilient. They were anxious to get back out on the field. I thought they had tremendous energy for 60 minutes. And that's what good teams do. And, I, and I'm, I don't know where we're at yet, but I know that we can put it together week by week to be 1-0, and and that's an exciting place for this football team. And, uh, you know, we're about to head to a, a new challenge, you know, but we're going to enjoy this one, and I'm, I'm proud of this team. Uh, 
in the second half there, you take away that interception um, in the red zone. You guys were moving the ball pretty much at will. What happened in the second half that led to you guys playing so well out there? You know, we knew we needed positive runs. You know, in the first half, you know, when we run the football, I mean, we can't be in second and 12. You know, and to Cal's credit, I thought they did a good job of doing a couple of different things to limit our run game, but we need to move the ball forward. And I think uh, – We've done it in flashes, we've done it in spurts, uh, but it's been an emphasis that when we run it, we need positive yards. So I thought we did that in the second half. I thought you saw that a little bit in the fourth quarter with some explosive runs, and we need that in this offense, right? It can't just be passing and play action and Cam dropping back. So we need to be more balanced, and it isn't the calls, it's those runs being more efficient. You know, I don't know our run pass split today, but uh, it's really where we want to be. And, uh, you know, so I'd love to see him get that first down at the end of the game and really run it out. but. You know, I thought that's the key. We need to get those runs moving forward. Uh, Coach, going into that, um, the touchdown to Renard, Cam had thrown two interceptions. It had been kind of a tough game, but he steps up and he puts a ball where only Renard can get it. It was, it was a great throw. What does it say about his confidence level and his ability to bounce back after a couple of, of plays he'd like to take back to make a play like that? Two positions you need a short memory, quarterback and corner, right? So you can't always be worrying about what just happened. You can't control that. It's over. So it's accepting the mistake. It's learning from the mistake and returning to action and ready to attack. And he stayed on the attack. He didn't feel bad for himself. He didn't have bad body language. Those are important things that matter, right? And that's what leaders do. And I think Cam is learning how to be a leader of this football team. And I'm excited about that resiliency, you know, because he could have folded. We don't have quit in this team. Right, and I don't think anyone around him would allow him to do that. So everyone around him picked him up, knows we need him. He went out there and make a, a big play, and that's that's what a team does. You guys are four and one. You talked about earlier this season. You know, a lot of people didn't expect the Cougs to be in this position. Five weeks in, next to a perfect start, this is the kind of the second best thing. Just how good are you feeling about your team? How good is that locker room feeling right now? You know, I. We just keep trusting the process, and I think that's a big part of it. And this is going to be the rough in this league, but that's what I mean. That's why I told them, celebrate every win. This Pac-12, however you get it, you come out on the right side of the scoreboard, man, there's a lot of hard work that went into that. And every man in that locker room has a distinct role that they got to execute. So proud of our coaching staff, really proud of our football team, proud of the leadership and, and the urgency that they had throughout the week. And, you know, that's, that's what it takes to win, win a football game. Coach, uh, it seems like the last three re weeks, Rob has really uh, just continued to progress. I know you had him sort of on a pitch count in the week one, um, but it seems like six catches, 79 yards, and a touchdown today. Is, do you expect him to have quite the workload the rest of the season? Yeah, I think he missed a big punt return. You know, and that, that was really what set up really that first half going. I, we've always been really confident in Rob. Everybody else just hasn't been able to see him, even me. I'm going to be honest with you. I saw him through summer workouts, and all of a sudden he was out for – you know, all the fall camp. So he's still getting used to in his stride, but I think he gives us a little jolt to of the offense, allows us to use Lincoln in a bunch of different ways, keep guys fresh. You know, we've talked about early on, we wanted to rotate eight receivers. You know, you see Leighton Smithson making some big plays. You know, so I'm excited for the growth of a lot of those guys, and Rob has done a good job really impacting this football team in these first three games. Coach, you kind of talked about it. Um, after Cam's second interception. Is there a conversation between you two on the sideline? What is being said to kind of keep his confidence up and continue to throw the ball deep to open up the field? Well, I think we're always talking about it. You know, I think we talked at halftime, you know, hey, let's, let, let's get our head up. Let's go out there and play the way we're capable of playing. And when you make, when you make a mistake that, you know, I'm, he knows. Right, so it's just, hey, let's reset the mechanism. Let's go back out there. It ended up being like a punt. They had it at the one yard line. Hey, we're gonna get you the ball back. Let's. I'm just always talking about what's next. It's over, right? So what's next, and what can we do to have him be his best? And that that's our focus. And I think Coach Morris does a good job doing the same thing. Are there any pieces from this game that need to be cleaned up as you look towards a tough team in USC next week? Oh, there's so many. Week? There's so many. That, that's the best part. Like, as a coach, and you love coaching ball, you know, you watch that tape and, and you go, man, we can be so much better and X, Y, and Z. And this, you know, I told the team, we haven't played our best game yet. And that's exciting. All right. So they're going to come back ready to work. They're going to learn from it. But it's a hard fought win. And Cal's a good team. So just really excited about, uh, you know, having the victory and, and our guys being ready to come back to work on Monday. So Jaden Hicks, Armani Marsh, Sam Lockett, and Chaucer Thway were four of the top five in tackles today. What do you think about the play of your secondary? 
I was I was really happy with it, you know, and I think not just the tackles, but more for the explosive plays, the communication, things that we've talked about, getting on the same page, you know, that's, you know, just those guys did a tremendous job today. And I can't give them enough credit. I can't give Coach Malone, Coach Ward, uh, Coach Brown enough credit for just being on the same page and going out there and letting these guys play. And I thought they did a great job of that this week and and responding, you know, and we challenged them a lot. You know, and hopefully, I know we've been talking about it, but to get Jordan Lee back is going to be a big uh, benefit to this secondary, and we gotta we got to get there, and hopefully next week's the week. We hit on Cam's pocket presence every week, uh, but he looks so patient today. He was just standing still, uh, so comfortable. What do you think about that and, and him hitting his receivers today? Well, I think he does a good job, and his pocket feel is really next-level stuff, you know. And, you know, I, sometimes they have free rushers, and he's escapes and make plays and scrambles. So, like I said, you're going to take some of the good or the bad with that. But I think at the end of the day, his pocket feel is great. But I think our protection after that first quarter was way better, right? And I think that's the key to our success as we keep moving forward on offense. Final question? Coach, what did it mean to have the the '97 team there today, and, and for the guys to get a chance to meet them? You're sta- you're, the ultimate goal is to win the pack, and to go to the Rose Bowl, and it's hard here, and I think we all accept that. But I think at the end of the day, to see men that did it and to share that experience, and have Coach Price and Coach Doba uh, come talk to the team last night and what it took, and for them to experience. A Friday night for us and, and how much we have fun and it's special and we, we showed the team a, a season in review about that football team and I think it's it's special right so to have that history that's been built here we play for all the people that come before us you know and those guys laid the foundation when I got to shake their hands in pregame I just told them thank you right for setting a goal and showing that it can be done and that's the ultimate goal and and I've just always, every time around, Coach Price tried to, you know, just soak up any bit of, bit of knowledge because he did it twice. Okay, there should be a statue of Coach Price somewhere out there. All right, I mean that. You know, so I'm excited for that team and what it accomplished, and hopefully they're proud of the way we're playing.